Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I'm here with Coach T and the rest of our coaching team. We're gonna go over this week's simple and sinister workout. So for this one, we're gonna have six stations, one, maybe two exercises per station. You'll be doing the work for 25 seconds. You'll have 15 seconds to rotate. We're gonna go around the room five times. We'll have a 40 second break between rounds. You ready, Tina? Ready. Okay, here we go, station number one. No more no today, guys. guys. We're gonna be doing jump squats and push-ups here. So you're gonna get five jump squats in. Swing those arms back, explode up. Nice soft landings here. If you need to take the impact out, you'll just do air squats, so five air squats. And then you're going down to the floor right away and you're gonna do five push-ups. So squeeze those shoulder blades, push that air out as you press up. You can go down from the toes and then up from your knees. Again, down from your toes, up from your knees, or just work from those knees if you want to, whatever works for you. Five push-ups and then you're back to those squats. You're gonna go five and five as many times as you can in that 25 seconds. Great job, Tia. From there, we're coming out. To our, coming over to our landmines here. We have Coach Seth demonstrating for us and we're gonna be doing our landmine bus driver. So you wanna get set up so you're leaning into the bar and now notice how Seth is pivoting that back foot so as he takes the bar down to his left side, he's pivoting that right through his right leg. When he goes to the right side, he's pivoting through his left leg, using that momentum to pull that bar back up, using those hips, I should say, pulling that bar back up, nice and controlled, side to side here. Nice job, Seth. From there, we're coming over to our sleds. We're gonna have our rope set up here. We're gonna be doing our rope pull and then sled push. So, Coach Reese demonstrating here, notice how she reaches as she pulls here, using that rotational core strength to pull as she's pulling with that upper back. When you get this leg, you need to, you can start using your legs, so drive up out of that squat each time. When you get that sled down to this end, you're gonna grab that push pull, or those push pulls, and you're gonna push the sled all the way back down the other end. If you still have time left, hustle back down, and let's get another pull in. Wherever you're at when that clock stops, just leave the sled right there. The next person will decide if they wanna start with their push or the pull there. Great job, Marie. From there, we're over to our kettlebells, <laughs> where Coach Katie is going to be demonstrating our deadlifts here. Chest up, arch that small, arch that lower back, neutral spine here, squeezing those glutes nice and tight. Now, we're doing our deadlifts a few days this week, so you wanna mess with that weight a little bit. If you've already gone heavy, maybe you go a little bit lighter here, more controlled, practice that movement. If you've been going light up to this point, challenge yourself with that weight, driving those hips forward. How many, K, how many can KK do? How many can KK I'll do? go all day. We're gonna keep talking all here. Day, Great job, KK. Day. From there, we're heading over to our skiers. We have Coach Frank. Remember with the skier, we're focusing on power, not speed. Coming up to those toes, sitting that foot back, reaching high overhead, deep breath in, push that air out as you pull down here. Nice and powerful on every stroke. Don't think fast, think powerful. And then, nice job, Frank. We're over to our last station here. We have Coach Tia. She's gonna be demonstrating our power curl and press. She's back to demonstrate. Here we go, using those hips, Throwing those dumbbells up. Sit those hips back, get those dumbbells to your shoulders, and then press up. You can tell T is using a heavy weight here. She's challenging herself. If she needs to, she'll add that push press in to get those dumbbells up using those hips, pressing them high overhead. If you go a little lighter, you're gonna go a little bit faster here as well. Okay, that's our simple and sinister workout for this week. Great job, everybody.